Hello! You are a radar user and you were wondering whether you need to learn everything anew when starting to use Radar Opus. So this may be the screen of Radar 10 that you're looking at in your practice today. You have uh, basically a menu, icons horizontally, clips, symptom clipboards to the left and then the repertory in the middle. Well, when you open Radar Opus for the first time, this is the screen you will see. It has the same structure, a menu at the top, then icons below it, a table of contents and the repertory you don't see yet, but will come to that easily. First, you will see that it takes longer to open Radar Opus than Radar. That is because Radar Opus now is one integrated software containing all the different programs that you have been using so far. And this is why I need to point to these five icons. Radar Opus is a program capable of managing repertories. It's a program capable managing Materia Medica. It's a program capable of managing patients. It gives you all information about remedies and very soon, very soon also about families. So, when you open Radar Opus, all these programs and these databases, they are opened at the same time. This is the reason why your first time in the morning, it will take a little bit longer to open Radar Opus than Radar. But let's go back to our scope, which is showing you that what you were used to do in Radar, you can do it in more or less the same way in Radar Opus. So, Radar, it opens with a repertory. To open the repertory, you click here on this uh, Synthesis Treasure Edition line and you will see the repertory appear in your main screen. Then the next step is you want to hide the table of contents. You go down down the screen at the left you will see hide table of contents you click on it and the table of contents is gone then we have the clipboards at the left side the menu and the icons at the top and the repertory in the middle so we are now getting very close to the way your old radar was looking now uh, on the level of the functions as well, Radar and Radar Opus will be able to function in the same way. So let's say that the basic functioning it is to find the symptom. What were you doing? You were typing MI and finding the chapter MIND. You hit enter, then you find the subrubrics of MIND, listed here. When you type FEAR, you find all the fears. You type GO, you find the fear of ghost, you hit enter twice and we are at the rubric already. To take the symptom in radar you are used to, to type plus one. The plus opens the window and shows the one. You do enter and the symptom is in the clipboard. So this is the first way to find and take a symptom. But you can also use the function key F2 as in radar. F2 opens the window, the chapters window. Then you can click with the mouse on a chapter and you can click with the mouse on a symptom such as anxiety during and you are at the symptom again. Then you can use the mouse to go to the menu and to take the symptom with intensity 3 and now we have two symptoms in clipboard 1. You can also type a question mark which is now opening the search window where you can type D-R-E-A-M-Y dreamy and you need to hit enter one time to say this is the end of the word you want to search you need to hit enter a second time to give you the possibility to enter a second word which you would like to combine with dreamy 
and if that is not the case as now you just like to search you hit enter one more time and then the program is searching for all the symptoms containing the word dreamy or related words such as dreams dream and dreaming in synthesis as indicated in the table of contents or here at this tab so you can find a symptom with a question mark in the same way as in radar you can then take the symptom by dragging yeah, you see I am dragging holding down the left mouse button and dragging the symptom to the clipboard and you will have taken a symptom in three different ways so all the flexibility and ways of finding and taking symptoms you used to have in radar you will have them in radar opus exactly in the same way now to analyze the symptoms there are several possibilities the quickest one is if you remember the related function key you hit F8 function key 8 and you will see the symptom clipboard the analysis and the repertorial grid now one thing you should look at is the tabs at the top here you see these tabs there is the tabs analysis which is active because we are looking at the analysis and then a little bit further there is the tab of the repertory and if you click on it we will go back to the repertory and like this we can easily switch between analysis and repertory okay one thing which is again similar as in the old radar is that you can click right on a remedy to for example to read the keynotes of the remedy another window another tab is opened showing you opium um, the opium uh, keynotes I hide the table of contents and I can go back to my analysis now and I will show you that you can also search for the remedy in all documents, in all repertories, in Materia Medicas of the types of therapeutics etc. So all these searches can be launched from this place which is somehow new but what is definitely new is that Radar Opus if you are connected to the internet here as will be displayed in your title bar you can directly go to certain websites related to the information you're looking at and so in this instance I would like to go to the Google images so I click on Google images and this shows me Google images of opium now wait a minute because at this moment Radar Opus itself is your browser and you can move ahead and browse along from this window to go anywhere else for example I only like to see large pictures of uh, opium I click on large and my Google window refreshes now I like to go to a precise website where this picture is shown I click on this picture and I browse within Radar Opus and see this beautiful picture of uh, the radar opus poppies just a nice feature of integration of internet connectivity in radar opus at last it's a temptation to speak about new things of course let me just introduce you one more little new thing is that we can display it all in one window with steps as is indicated here we can close those steps uh, as well but that we can display those steps in a floating window display which means different windows float on your screen for example I take the uh, keynotes window and put it here then I take the analysis window and drag it so to see more remedies okay and then the rest of the space on my screen I like to use it for my repertory which I can enlarge here at the right lower corner to be displayed in my uh, 
repertory screen. At this moment I don't need the two columns, so another item is that in many screens you will see these two arrows down. You see them here again. These two arrows down means you, can, you have some options. And the option I like is under the top repertory here, where I see that I can tick off the display of the document in two columns. And at this moment I have one column, I close my options and I can keep on working and add a rubric to my analysis and immediately I can see here in the analysis my screen is updated and my analysis is updated as I go along with my work for my patients. That's it for now and I wish you very many new discoveries because this clip was meant to explain you. Don't worry, what you used to do you can do it again, but be sure that many new things and many other ways of doing things are available in Radar Opus. Thank you very much.